Well, as uh, many of you know, Sunday is World Press Freedom Day, uh, a day in which we reaffirm the vital role that a free press plays in uh, democracy and uh, shining a light on uh, the many challenges, and cruelties, and also hopeful stories that exist uh, in countries all around the world. Um, journalists give uh, all of us as citizens uh, the chance to know the truth uh, about our countries, ourselves, our governments. Uh, that makes us better. It makes us stronger. Uh, it gives voice to the voiceless, uh, exposes injustice, uh, and uh, holds leaders like me accountable. Uh, unfortunately, in too many places around the world, uh, a free press is under attack uh, by governments that uh, want to avoid the truth uh, or mistrust the ability of citizens uh, to make their own decisions. Uh, journalists are harassed, sometimes even killed. Uh, independent outlets are shut down. Uh, dissent is silenced, and freedom of expression is stifled. Uh, and that's why. I really appreciated and valued the opportunity to hear from uh, three journalists uh, who have been incredibly courageous under some very, very difficult circumstances. Uh, all three are from countries that uh, severely restrict the freedom of the press. Uh, all three have been detained or harassed in the past. Uh, all three have sought refuge here in the United States, and we welcome them so that they can continue their important work. Uh, just very briefly, I want to mention them. We have uh, uh, Fatima uh, Tletsova, uh, who uh, is from Russia. Uh, she reported on military operations in the North Caucasus uh, region, as well as uh, disappearances and corruption. Uh, she was attacked, kidnapped, uh, tortured herself. Uh, today, she reports for the Voice of America, and most recently has spent time uh, reporting on the Boston trials. Uh, uh, related to the Boston bombing. Uh, so we very much appreciate uh, uh, Fatima uh, being here. Uh, we also have uh, D.U.K., uh, that's his pen name, uh, from Vietnam, a blogger who has written on human rights, including religious freedom, as a leading voice for greater press freedom in Vietnam. Uh, he spent six years in prison and was just released in October. Uh, and finally, we have uh, Lily uh, Mengesa, uh, is from Ethiopia. She helped to shine a light on the outrage of child brides. Uh, after her advocacy for a free press, she was harassed and detained. Uh, today she is with the National Endowment for Democracy. So uh, I heard firsthand, I think from all of them, uh, the importance of uh, all of us, uh, including the United States government, speaking out. Uh, on behalf of the values of the freedom of the press. Um, as I indicated to them, uh, these are countries in which we are engaged uh, and uh, do a lot of business. And uh, we think that engagement and diplomacy is absolutely critical to uh, the national interest of the United States. Uh, but what's also important is that we uh, speak out on behalf of the values that uh, are enshrined in our Constitution and our Bill of Rights, uh, because we believe those values are not simply American values, uh, that certain core values, like being able to express yourself uh, and your conscience uh, without danger, uh, is uh, a, a human right, uh, a universal right, and ultimately makes the world better and stronger uh, when uh, individual conscience and uh, a press uh, that is free uh, is uh, allowed to function. Um, it's also a time for us to uh, reflect and honor all those journalists uh, who are languishing in jail as we speak right now, uh, are being harassed, are in danger, uh, and of course journalists whose lives were lost. Uh, that includes uh, Stephen Sotloff and James Foley and Luke Summers, those killed in Paris. Uh, at Charlie Hebdo. Uh, we'll keep working for the release of journalists uh, who are unjustly imprisoned, including Jason uh, Rezian, 
uh, of the Washington Post, uh, who is currently being held in Iran. Um, so once again, I want to thank uh, the three journalists who are here for uh, sharing with me uh, in uh, very clear and stark terms uh, some of the challenges that folks are facing. Uh, I want everybody to understand that this will continue to be a priority for the United States uh, in our foreign policy. Uh, not only because uh, it's the right thing to do, but also because ultimately I believe it's in the national interest of the United States. So, with that, since it's national, uh, since it's World Press Freedom Day, uh, I figure I better take at least one question. 